In this epic tutorial, I'm going to show you my top 10 tips and tricks for iMovie on iOS, and these will work with both the iPhone and iPad versions. If you learn something new, please like and share, and if you want more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know what your favorite features are in the comments below. In the video pane of the media library, you can tap and hold on any video, then drag to quickly scrub through and preview it. To snap the playhead to the beginning of the timeline, tap and hold on the left hand side of the interface, and to move the playhead to the end of the sequence, tap and hold on the right hand side. You can rotate a clip in the viewer in increments of 90 degrees by twisting with two fingers clockwise or counterclockwise. You can reframe a clip by zooming in or out. Select it in the timeline, then tap the magnifying glass in the viewer and pinch in and out to zoom and drag with two fingers to reframe. This technique can be used to make vertically shot video fill the frame. To quickly split a clip in the timeline, position the playhead over the frame you want to split, tap once to select it, and then swipe down in a cutting motion. You can also swipe up on a clip to create a freeze frame which lasts for 2 seconds by default. To change the length of the freeze frame, tap the speed icon and the freeze frame will become highlighted, allowing you to drag the start and end points. To remove a freeze frame, simply tap Reset. To quickly delete a clip from your timeline, tap and hold and drag it up or down and release it over the top or bottom of the interface to delete it in a puff of smoke. iMovie for iOS supports a wide range of keyboard shortcuts. To see what they are, just connect a compatible keyboard and hold the command key down to display them on screen. Once you have iMovie downloaded on your iOS device, you can make powerful, non-destructive edits from right within your Photos app on a clip-by-clip -clip basis using the iMovie extension. Simply select a video, then tap Edit in the upper right, then tap More Options, and if iMovie doesn't appear, just tap More and add it along with any other available video editing extensions, then tap Done. Now tap the iMovie icon. You can mute the clip audio, make trims, add filters and animated titles, as well as music from either iMovie's royalty-free theme music library or from your music library. To accept all changes, tap Done in the upper right. As any edits performed using the iMovie extension are non-destructive, you can always revert back to your original clip by tapping Edit, then Revert, then Revert to Original. Lastly, you can record professional voiceovers directly in iMovie for iOS, thanks to its support for external USB microphones and audio interfaces. Simply connect your input source, then tap the voiceover icon and tap record. For best results, use a microphone with onboard level adjustment like the Apogee Mic 96K or an audio interface like the iRig Pro or PreSonus i2. By using an audio interface, you can use professional voiceover microphones like the Rode Broadcaster that require phantom power. Thanks for watching. My name's Elliot Fitzroy for Epic Tutorials.